I made the film New Year's Eve because I have uh, friends back in Nairobi that are gay and uh, tend to, it's impossible for them to live a, a, a free life. It is illegal in Kenya to be a homosexual or lesbian, yeah, bisexual, transgender. It, yeah, as soon as you're caught by uh, the government in a compromising situation, they'll put you into jail, which in my mind doesn't really make any sense. The reason why I chose this particular angle is to tell you the story is um, there are many closeted homosexuals uh, in Kenya. Their marriages and you know carry on living like normal straight lives, but of course behind the closet they're doing other things. Uh, behind the closet, um, I've heard of people who have found out uh, that their husbands were. Gay, or then or their wives were even uh, in partnerships with other women, and they were just baffled. They didn't know how to confront them, or should they leave them once they've had kids, or you know what's the situation from that point on? And they're still trapped in these sort of marriages. Um, yeah, which is quite hard. Yes, the film is about love. It's about a different kind of love. Um, and a different kind of love that I would like people to hopefully accept, maybe not tomorrow, but eventually come around to the idea that, um, yeah, two guys can be in love and it's not the end of the world. There's bigger problems that we need to be fighting for or against. It's a writing process and getting feedback from from B3 Media, the Commonwealth, some of which you agree with, some of which you don't, um, finding a balance between that and then get, getting into production, finding the right actors for the for this part. I actually had um, two people drop out uh, based on the theme, um, you know, it's a key film. That, and that was just gutted. Like, uh, you get the right people, they're ready to do it, but then they read the script and they're like, okay, my family will think, our society will think I'm gay. And that just doesn't, well, yeah, you're an actor. That, that's a different challenge. Um, again, getting into post-production, just getting everything right. Um, the music, scoring that. It's little hurdles around along the way towards making it done. My hope of hopes is just, Decriminalizing it, decriminalizing homosexuality. When you watch a film, you get to identify with the person that's on that screen. You see yourself in them, you're in their position. Uh, I think that's the power that film has. Also, generally, story storytelling is a very powerful medium. It humanizes things that, you know, especially with a subject like gay rights, you get to see, oh my God, my, what if that was my father? Um, what would I have done? I have been talking to my friends who ha just have the most bizarre questions, you know, from why are you making a film about gay, gayism, <laughs> gay rights, um, they, they can't understand why that would be, why would be interested in doing something like that. As opposed to, you know, the guy who meets a girl who falls in love and they run off into the sunset. Typical kind of story.